everyone, it's me Marie here and I'm back again. And for today's video, if you couldn't tell from the thumbnail and title, I'm going to be doing a how much I spent on publishing my book. I find these sort of videos really interesting. Um, I'm going to be like completely honest with all of it. Like I've, I wrote down everything that like I spent in this little notepad um, over the how many months I did it. Um, so yeah. There are some things that I might pay for that you guys, if you have published a book, won't have paid for. That you guys, if you want to publish a book, um, won't pay for. I don't know. But these are just all the things that I pay for and how much it cost me. And also, if anybody's interested in just a general sort of cost, then um, this is how much I spent. I think uh, some people might have spent more because obviously... I don't know other things might have occurred to them that didn't occur to me but i just figured i would give you like a rundown on everything i spent basically i think my goal for writing the book was um not my goal but i would have liked monetary wise goal wise um to have made a return on the book i have not made a return on the book um obviously uh i probably won't tell you how much i've made uh not because i'm embarrassed but just because i don't I don't know i don't feel like it's important um and it's not loads so but then again maybe i should show it to be like this is what it realistically will be like um maybe it won't be like for other people maybe i'm just a sham maybe i'm not very good but um this is all that i did and this is all i can do so i figured i'd do this video i said i'd do it and yeah i'll just sort of get into it sorry for the waffle so the first thing that i spent money on was grammarly and this is all going to be in great british pounds so if you're from america or anywhere else i can't really tell you anything else so sorry so i did a quarterly i think um i pay for it either three times or two times a year um for a grammarly i can't remember how many times a year but as of this is as of my release date on the 25th of the first is how much i had spent i spent 45 pounds um twice so i spent 90 pounds on grammarly for the subscription service and i think there should be maybe like another 45 pounds added in at the very end of this because i um yeah i think another payment has been taken out of my bank so um that's how much i spent on grammarly i use grammarly as like a pre-edit for getting it paid for the paying for the edit basically um because i felt like it was important to have it so the next thing that i spent money on was um eye stock and this was for book photos um so this is for like my cover photos my teasers um all that sort of stuff um so i paid eight pound 40 for per image and i paid for six images and that came to 50 pound and 40 pence and i didn't pay for a cover designer because uh me and my friends sort of agreed that i will pay her for her cover designing um once i make a return on the book and as i've not made anywhere near a return on the book she has very kindly um very very kindly said to me you don't have to pay um it's fine because I spent a lot of money on the book um, already without like a cover designer. I didn't pay for a cover designer on the book because me and my friends are photography graduates. We know how to do cover design. So uh, it didn't feel, I felt like it would have been a slight waste of money for me to have asked for external help when me and my friends can do it just as well as, um, as paying somebody else basically. So I didn't bother to pay for a cover designer. So I saved a lot of money there, um, but I still paid 50 pounds and 40 pence for some stock photos and then the next thing that i spent money on was vellum and vellum if any of you don't know what that is it's like a formatting um software that you can download onto your laptop uh so if any of you are interested in writing a book and don't know how to format it um you can do that quite cheaply with vellum it's a one-off purchase so i know i won't have to spend any more money on that i think again it's like a one-off purchase and that was 159 pounds um so vellum basically formats your book it um basically converts it into a pdf and into ebook and all that sort of stuff i could have paid for a formatter and i could have paid to have loads of like pretty pictures and stuff in the like in the book but i didn't see it as necessary i couldn't afford to do that either um so vellum was my best option and now i can use vellum all the time i don't have to pay for it again 159 pounds for me was quite reasonable i think i got this on a deal like a black friday deal so i was quite happy with 
how much I spent on it. And the next thing that I spent money on was the edit of the book. So I paid a deposit of, did I? No, I think I broke it down into three payments, basically. One was a deposit and then two other payments. And then, yeah, and then it was two other payments. So the two big payments was 245 point 66p and then 254 pounds point 17p and then the like deposit was 52 pounds and 74p but then i've also included the bank transfer money that i had to pay so i had to pay six pounds and 75p and one pound 45p um for like the bank transfer and it was i had to pay in american dollars i my bank is in Great British Pounds, so I had to pay the conversion little money cr across thing that British banks do. I don't know if other banks do this, but in other countries, I had to pay like a little conversion fee. So that meant that my total book edit um, came to £560.77. Um, so again, I don't know if that's too much or too little or if that's quite good value. I found the edit really good. Um, the person who did my edit was very kind but firm. Um, I picked up a lot of her criticisms. I did agree with a lot of what she said. Um, some things I didn't change, obviously, but I did think it. I obviously needed to have it, the edit done. So, yeah, I was very happy with how much that was. Um, and you know, I did spend a big chunk of money on that. Um, I started a new job in December, and that's pretty much where all my first paycheck went on, pretty much. And the next thing that I also spent a lot of money on was book funnel i spent 76 pound and 31p again i think that's a bit odd because it's probably had to pay in american dollars and this is conversion rate back to great british pounds and i think yeah book funnels definitely needed book funnels to be able to send out my arcs um and in the end not very many people even asked for the arcs so i probably could have done it myself but i thought i was gonna have more interest than i did i think Book funnel is a yearly thing, so I think I pay for the year and then next year I'll pay for another year. Um, but say if I publish another book, which I hopefully will this year, then I'll have technically only paid like half of £76 for the year. And the next thing that I pay for, and this is the final thing that I paid for before I published the book, uh, was my ISBN. So my ISBN includes the number and the barcode, like the physical barcode, and um, that I had to put on the back of the book. So that came to £105. And um, I think that included two ISBNs, but I'm not sure. But either way, I had to have the ISBN. Like, I couldn't not have the ISBN. So, um, yeah, I had to pay for that. So um, I can't complain. I had to pay for it. Uh, and that was just sort of the be all and end all, um, especially if I wanted to publish it, especially if I wanted to publish sorry, paperbacks and I had to pay for the ISBN. Um, so the total amount that I spent as of the publishing date was £1,041.48p. So that was all I spent on the, before I published it on the, by the 25th of 1st, 2022, that was all I'd spent. Uh, but afterwards maybe like two or three weeks later i did a protect my work copyright sort of thing and that was 44 pounds and 39p so it brought the cost of everything up to 1085 pounds is what i spent on the whole book so far um i'm not including amazon ads because i did pay for amazon ads i am technically paying for amazon ads but nobody's clicked on it so it means that i haven't actually spent any money on amazon ads uh so you only start to pay for your amazon adverts when uh somebody clicks on the product and nobody's interested enough to click on the product which is fine it is what it is right now the goal is to make a thousand eighty five pounds off uh portraits of us so um <laughs> i'm a long way i'm a long way off that uh, a very long way off that so that's fine um it is what it is i have a job to pay for these things for a reason um and hopefully the next book won't be quite as expensive because um i'll have i won't have to pay for book funnel again or i won't have to pay for vellum again uh and my friends are very kind and gracious and they will um help me do a cover a cover photo and cover design and uh, stuff again so um hopefully it'll be a bit less money next time around but yeah that was sort of all i spent this was only meant to be a quick video it was just to literally just to highlight how much i spent i think people find it interesting i definitely find it interesting um 
and yeah if it just interest one person if you're nosy like i'm really nosy the night yeah it's just interesting to know i think at least anyway um but thank you so much for watching if you could like if you could subscribe i'd be greatly appreciative if you could also read my book um portraits of us the link will be in the bio um if you want to add to to be to be read i'd also really greatly appreciate that and yeah we'll speak soon this is just a random little midweek video and i thought you guys would be interested um yeah we'll speak soon we'll speak on sunday because i'm gonna upload a video on sunday and talk to you then goodbye <laughs>